Wei Yi is going to be coming out very soon in Honkai Star Rail, so today I want to take a look at what she's able to do in her kit to see how much value she can provide for players who are planning to pull on the banners that she's going to be on. Now I do think that Shui Yi as a destruction character is going to be very solid, and it's looking like just generally she's going to be either a sub DPS or DPS kind of role, depending on just how much damage she's able to do. Hopefully it's a DPS role, because you know a good a good four star DPS character would also be very good for players to. So starting out with her banners, now she is gonna be on both the Ron May banner and the Blade banner. With both of those characters being extremely good, you know, Blade being sort of a uh, main DPS more so than probably Shui Yi will be. So that having the two of them together is probably not gonna be something that'll happen. But I do think that if you pull her while pulling for Ron May. That can also be very good because not only uh, if you get Ron May, you'll be able to run them, but also King Yoon is on the banner as well. So just some very strong options there for a Shui Yi. So now to move on into her kit. Yeah, looking at the official uh, Hoiverse character preview for her. So we are going to skip over the traces till the end, just you know to make sense of the kit in its entirely, in, in its entirety, if I could talk, before we actually get to the traces there. So they start out here with her technique. So her technique is one of the like instant attack techniques. So it'll immediately attack the enemy and after the battle starts, it will deal quantum damage to every enemy, which is very nice, especially if you're fighting, you know, a lot of enemies with quantum weakness. So that'd be good to deplete their toughness. And that's helpful once we get to her talent as well, which is one of the coolest things about her, which there's a lot of cool things about her. You know, her animations are cool, her talent. She's just a very cool looking character. Then for her basic attack, very simple, just deals quantum damage to a single target. A lot of, time, a lot of times basic attacks don't really have that much to them, so you know, we're just gonna keep going. But now we have her talent, which is a lot of what makes her kit really cool to me. So each time she uses an attack that depletes the enemy's toughness, she'll gain a stack of karma. And the same thing applies also for allies. If they deplete toughness, then she'll also gain stacks of karma. And for her attacks, the greater the amount of toughness she depletes, you know, the higher it is, the more stacks she can gain. And once she hits the limit of karma stacks, she'll instantly launch a follow-up attack on a random enemy, and it'll deal three instances of quantum damage, which is really cool. And these follow-up attacks are also not going to increase the number of karma stacks. So yeah, it, it's not like you'll be able to contribute to that to the stacks with that, because that would be kind of crazy if they have a quantum weakness. But this is really cool because you're going to be able to just get some extra damage in with Shui Yi consistently, no matter if you're using her as like a main DPS option or a sub DPS with other characters. Because if you're able to deplete the enemy, especially with their toughness, if you have like an AoE attack, that's going to get a lot of stacks of karma very quickly. Now, we don't officially know how many stacks is the maximum for it. We're going to, I definitely think we'll find that out once she actually releases. But this could be very good if it's not like that crazy of a number. But yeah, I think if it's anyway, like I doubt it's gonna be a small number. Like it's not gonna be like three, I don't think, because you know, to trigger out this follow-up attack. But yeah, I definitely say you know, as long as it's not like, I would say like ten is maybe like the highest I can see it being. But yeah, we'll we'll, we'll see what the actual numbers are when she drops for that. Then for her skill, her skill will just deal quantum damage to a single enemy as well as adjacent enemies. Very simple skill here as well, but this just gives her more opportunities to deplete enemy toughness to gain stacks of karma. So her skill, she should get probably three stacks of karma unless she's able to get more from the single enemy. Then for Shui Yi's ultimate, it will deal quantum damage to a single target and will also ignore the enemy's weakness type and deplete their toughness, which is really good for her talent because no matter what type of fight she's in, She'll still be able to get some an extra stack of karma by using her ultimate. And if she ends up breaking the enemy's weakness in this way, even if they're not weak to quantum, it's going to trigger the quantum weakness break effect, which is really good because it is one of the best weakness break effects in the game. And also during this attack, the more toughness that's depleted, the higher the damage dealt to the enemy, which is also very nice to just do more damage based on the amount of toughness you're depleting, which is really cool that she's you know, focused on um, the break effect, similarly to Ron May as well, but her more so as a DPS that has some like break effect focus. 
Then lastly, you know, we're going to go into the traces up here, which can all be very good for her now that we know how her talent works. So her first major trace will increase the damage dealt by Shui Yi by an amount equal to a percentage of her break effect. Now, this is going to be really cool because this is definitely going to mean that you get, you're going to want to have some break effect substats for her just to get that extra damage as well. And holy, that extra damage will probably be pretty solid because just the general damage boosts are very powerful in Star Rail in general. Then next up, we have the second major trace. If the enemy's uh, toughness is higher than a certain percentage of their max toughness, then ultimates will deal increased damage. And this is really cool too for just any team you might run her on if you're running her as like a sub DPS because getting your main DPS, if, you, if you're if you running her with someone like, you know, Jing Liu, for example, or just like some crazy DPS character that does a lot of damage, getting them to do even more damage when the enemy has higher toughness can also be very strong, especially if the enemy is weak to that main DPS's element. Then for the final major trace for Shui Yi, so she will keep a tally of the number of karma stacks that exceed the max stack limit. So I assume that's in situations where like, let's say you're at like one away from the maximum and you use her skill to hit three enemies, it'll keep track of the two. And once her, ta once her talent triggers the follow up attack, she'll gain a corresponding number of tallied karma stacks. So basically this is a way to deal with the overflow, which I think is really cool because being able, cause I know for certain things, You'll, you know, you'll get to the maximum and it'll just be capped and you won't gain any benefit while it's capped out, like ultimate, like energy meters, for example. But for this, even if you overcap her karma stacks, you will be able to, you know, get those, still have those stacks once she uses the follow-up attack. So that's really nice. So the follow-up attack is going to actually be very strong for her kit. Now, is it something that you should build on her, like with the follow-up attack relic set? Probably not. I do think that she's going to benefit the most from running just the quantum set. But either way, I do think that her kit is very good and I think she's going to be a really strong character. I'm definitely going to have to do a little comparison of her and uh, Xing Shui once, uh, once Shui is out and I've done some testing with her. But let me know what you think of her in the comments down below. But with that, everyone, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. But with that, I will see you all next time. Thank you.